Yeah, really, uh, really excited uh, to be uh, to be at home uh, this week. And, and first off, thank everybody for for being here and for for listening in. Um, but very excited to have an opportunity to begin uh, our home schedule. Uh, you know, in front of our fans uh, is very exciting for our team. Uh, obviously, uh, being able to play last week in front of you know such an incredible crowd was you know was truly a, a, an outstanding experience. Um, but you know, having the opportunity to be at home. At the University of Akron at Infocision Stadium, um, you know, with our band, um, with our fans, you know, with our families, uh, is just is, is such a special opportunity. And uh, you know, we anticipate a, a really great crowd coming out, and we're excited about that. I know uh, there's a number of of, of different events, uh, hometown heroes event, um, you know, an opportunity for for our program and for our university to to to, to thank, uh, you know, all of the heroes uh, in our community, uh, as well as uh, being able to welcome. Uh, high school uh, students uh, from all all over Northeast Ohio. You know the opportunity to come uh, out and check out our games. So we're uh, we're really excited about all of that, and uh, most importantly, um, the opportunity to get out there and play. Um, you know we uh, our team is is very anxious uh, to have the opportunity to get back out on the field. Um, I think you know there were a lot of things um, you know that we took from the game this past weekend, um, but I think you know the most important thing you know as we you know as we discussed it as a team and. You know, was like you know, we went down there with some really high expectations uh, for ourselves, and you know, we certainly you know put those put expectations on our team, and um, you know, but I think more importantly, they had expectations for themselves and how uh, and how they wanted to play, and you know, in the end, like we didn't meet those expectations, and you know, the positive thing about that is, um, you know, that our guys, you know, our guys felt that. You know, and uh, they didn't go down there just to play. They didn't go down there just for an experience. They went down there, um, you know, to do the best that they can do and to play as well as they can play. And um, you know, we we came back, you know, knowing that you know we can be better. Uh, we can be a lot better. And um, you know, that was that was encouraging, you know, for me to just to feel that energy and to feel, you know, really the pride uh, in our performance and um, knowing that. Um, you know, we got another opportunity this weekend to, you know, to be better and to do better. And um, that's exciting, you know, for, uh, for us. And uh, looking forward, had a good day of practice today and uh, can't wait to get back out there tomorrow. During uh, Saturday's game, your wide receivers seemed to find a, a, a groove in that second half. Um, it looks like, well, I knew about Mike Mathis, but uh, talk to me about DJ Qual or George Paul and uh, how they're working together. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I thought that wide receiver group, um, you know, really was a, was a bright spot uh, for for our team. Uh, you know, we, we feel that that's a really, uh, really talented group. We feel like it's a group that can be very successful uh, for our team. Um, and, you know, they went out there and they proved it against, you know, some of the best competition in the country. Uh, their ability to get open, uh, their ability to separate and, and win on routes, uh, I think, was evident. And, you know, they caught the ball well. And when they got the ball in their hands, um, our run after the catch uh, was as good as it has been. Um, you know, whether you're talking about, you know, Mike, uh, George, um, you know, even, you know, a couple of our, our young guys and uh, Kanate Mumfield and uh, Oran Singleton, um, you know, those guys played really well. Tony Grimes had a great, uh, uh, you know, a great play on, on sort of the, uh, you know, the, the, the jet sweep. Um, did a really nice job on that. So, um, you know, I thought overall the wide receiver group did a really did a really good job getting open um, and making plays and catching the ball. And you know that that helps. You know that helps the quarterback position. And um, you know we were pleased to to see you know our quarterbacks come out and play. Um, you know and, and throw the ball accurately and make good decisions. Uh, you know we ended up 22 of 27 um, in that game, over 80 percent completion percentage, which I think is um, you know probably the highest uh, you know that we've had. Um, you know, since since we've been here, um, so to be able to do that against a, a you know top level competition, a top level opponent, um, you know, was very encouraging. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but at this point, is your de defense built to, to take advantage of speed more than, than size? Um, you know, I think you know certainly as you look at us up front, um, you know, I do think 
on the defensive line, um, you know, we have we have a variety of body types, but I think overall we're um, you know we're, we're a more athletic group, um, you know, a, a little bit you know quicker, a little bit more athletic um, than we've been. Um, so yes, I would say you know particularly there, um, you know, being able to you know just do some different things with those guys that you know maybe you know wouldn't have been uh, you know as big a part of the plan, you know, with some you know with a bunch of you know three hundred pounders. I know you were pleased with uh, special teams. Can you talk about those guys and uh, how that's going to affect the rest of the season if they continue to perform that way? No, that's a it's a big part. It's a big part of our program. Um, you know, when we talk about special teams, um, you know, we're really talking about like the foundation of our team. You know, and, and our culture. And you know, it's the one. You know, it's the one time where offensive and defensive players get to come together and get to be out there on the on the field at the same time. Um, playing with one another, and I think that you know when you can get a group to to really buy into, you know that you know that phase of the game, and to buy into those units and what those units mean and what they represent for our program, and um, you know how much they can impact the game, um, I think you can get something really special done, and that's been uh, you know really positive for us, really. Uh, really going back to spring ball uh, all through training camp, um, and certainly uh, this weekend, I think we've I think we've performed well um, in those units, and um, that's going to make a difference for us down the stretch. You had a couple new guys on that uh, kickoff coverage team. The young man that transferred in from Ohio State from Eds, I think, uh, had four tackles. So there's some new guys in there that are making that a better group or not. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, Kevin Dever, uh, you know, who you're referring to, um, certainly um, has, you know, he's just, he's really climbed, uh, you know, through the depth chart uh, since his arrival here. He, uh, he really started in our program in August when training camp began and, um, you know, his first opportunity to get out there and play. And uh, he has worked his way up and has become uh, someone who uh, Coach Hurd, our special teams coordinator, you know, really can count on and rely on. But he's also become a player for us on defense. Um, you know, that we trust and someone who can uh, get us lined up, get us in the right calls, execute his, you know, responsibility within the defense. So uh, we're really happy to have Kevin. Um, you know, he's obviously got great pedigree, um, you know, coming from, you know, a championship uh, program uh, in high school, championship program, uh, you know, at his previous uh, college um, and having opportunities to play, you know, played on, on some of the special teams units um, for Ohio State. So, um, you know, we're really excited to have him and he's done He's done an outstanding job. Hey, Tom, they're awfully young at quarterback, and they just lost their starter um, in the first game, Temple, I mean. Um, what are you telling your guys at that point? How, how are you approaching that? You know, it, it's interesting. You know, I, obviously, we, we read the article, um, you know, that came. I was, you know, noticed that he had gotten uh, dinged up uh, in the game, and, uh, didn't return, but you know you never really know. And obviously, you know some reports are coming out that um, you know he may not be available. But you know I didn't see anything definitive. Uh, certainly, you know from from their head coach, uh, I didn't really notice anything definitive. Uh, you know I think they're hopeful um, that they can that, that he'll be able to play. But it's kind of a week to week situation for them, and um, I'm sure they're going to be working really hard. You know with them down in in their training room trying to get them ready. Uh, for this weekend, but um, you know they got uh, you know they got good backup as well, and you know they they may you know we don't know enough you know to say how that how the offense changes, um, but um, you know we we got to be ready you know we got to be ready for uh, whoever comes out and uh, you know the quarterback position is such an important position, um, and you know how how we play on offense, how we, you know, play on defense, you know, a lot of it is driven by, uh, you know, by the quarterback, um, you know, it, it really, you know, it, it matters uh, who that guy is and, um, you know, the things that he does well, the things that, you know, give him problems and, you know, how you want to affect, um, you know, the opponent's quarterback. Um, so, you know, having a little bit of uncertainty there uh, for sure. So, um, you know, really, you know, kind of planning for both. Um, and you know we'll be ready for uh, you know for whoever uh, whoever rolls out. Pardon me, George. It, it, it looks as I'm looking at Temple's depth chart, and your, your team is relatively young. Their team looks relatively young, as as constituted this depth chart. 
we both know that that could change in, in an instant. But it, as a coach, what goes through your mind when you see that, when you see the relative you? Um, you know, I, I, I'll be honest, um, you know, I know like up front, you know, on the offensive line, you know, they're not, they're not very young. I mean, they have a pretty, you know, pretty experienced, pretty veteran group up front. Um, I guess, you know, maybe I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't noticed, uh, you know, quite as much, you know, kind of, you know, what they're, you know, what, you know, what years they are and things like that. But um, what I have noticed is they're, they're a talented football team. Um, they have uh, they have a lot of really uh, really good football players uh, on their team. Some guys that are really uh, capable of, of of changing the game, you know, pretty quickly. So um, I think you know that's you know really our focus is you know knowing you know knowing where those types of guys are, um, you know, and, and and having a plan you know to to handle that.